Hello Pisces, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of November 2018. What are they thinking? Reading. All right, so I have prayed over the cards, blessed the cards with my stones, laid out a couple of Norman spreads and have confirmed the energies that I am feeling for this particular Aquari uh, Pisces energies. Interesting. For the second half of November 2018, this particular Pisces is receiving the energies of the whip. They are trying to sweep away a spiritual educational lesson. All right. I learned the lesson. I understand the lesson. I'm tired of the gosh darn lesson. All right. I now see the truth that I can draw people towards me that will cause me to get stuck in a passionate way. I will end up um, I am sure that where I'm at with the anchor energies is where I'm supposed to be. Knowing that I still am a bit confused in my thoughts, that I do not want to make any mistakes moving forward in my life. Uh, someone may come towards Pisces or may have in the past or there's been a desire between Pisces and another person to meet, to negotiate, to discuss, to chat. Because this particular Pisces was hoping, wishing, and praying to move into a new direction. To maybe play house with someone at a distance. To figure out what these kind words and messages meant. With someone as devoted to Pisces as Pisces was trying to devote themselves to them. Was a situation held up because of children and trying to get to the truth of the situation, not being completely sure of what this Pisces was wishing for. This Pisces has definitely been praying to spirit and spirit's been trying to guide them correctly with the compass energies regarding a karmic connection. They have been researching, do I stay, do I go, which path is the right one for me? But at some point there was sly cunning and manipulative behavior when it came to communication and this, some sort of communication went full circle and ended for this Pisces. This Pisces is still hoping for some form of commitment, partnership, contract, but there's anxiety regarding a passionate masculine energy. There's a need to do more research when it comes to business or an organization uh, because this Pisces needs to find clarification regarding a karmic path ahead. Uh, it could be that lies and deceit caused this, energy, uh, this Pisces to feel burdened and confused. But Spirit understands that Pisces is now understanding the lesson and is ready to move on. Okay, so mid-November 2018, we'll say from the 15th to the 20th of November 2018, this particular Pisces is thinking about traveling or moving or someone who is caring, loving, giving, and supportive is moving towards Pisces or Pisces is already here with someone and is thinking about traveling or moving. From the 15th to the 20th, there may have been communication or gossip messages or information regarding social media or technology and this particular Pisces is saying I, I just, I don't want to know anymore. I don't want to think about it anymore. I understand it was a long and difficult path that I had to walk in order to climb to a higher spiritual level, in order to climb to a level where by which now I can receive great blessings. By the end of November 2018, this Pisces may still be thinking about rolling the dice and taking a risk in some way, but they will still not have the information they need, the truth, the clarity. In the outcome position representing the end of November 2018, this person is thinking about that bare energy again, that financially abundant, caring, giving, loving, supportive energy that they want to travel or move towards. Maybe they want to travel or move and take a risk when it comes to someone who is financially secure and or be a caregiver or provider with and to another. So when I looked at the second Lenormand spread spirit saying that there is definitely a Pisces energy here who's needing to do more research when it comes to the knowledge they need concerning a long-term future, a new chapter in their life. There has indeed been a karmic connection that made this Pisces feel very good about themselves, feel like a kid again. 
And this Pisces has come to the realization that they already have the key to success. They're already sitting in this beautiful garden, this beautiful environment, this beautiful life. So they're thinking about the messages of the past, the, the kind words, the gifts, the flowers. They're working on business, but they're thinking about romance. They're trying to sweep away from an old financial situation and this communication is just caused for them to have to feel burdened, overwhelmed. So let's look at who this person is. Or no, that was Pisces, just feeling overwhelmed. Now, let's look at the person that Pisces is thinking about, trying to sweep away from, trying to end communication with or communication ended in some way, trying to still roll the dice. But finding that anxiety is bringing the truth and the light too. Decepti deception, manipulation, lies, and deceit. This playful connection has gone full circle. I'm not sure if there will be a test or not. Let's see. So we're looking at the energies of the person that Pisces is thinking about. I'm using the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck, and I'm doing a circle spread. And the card in the center of the circle spread is the Six of Pentacles. This person, Pisces, they love their connection with and to you. They enjoy that connection. And from the 15th to the 20th, maybe even to the 25th, they are definitely researching their future, what they want. They're researching the, the connection with and to you. They're wanting to learn a little bit more. This person in their relationship sector has been blessed with the life renewed acorn to build a brand new path, a brand new future for themselves. And in their relationship sector, they want to learn more about you. Interesting. So in the creative aspects position for Pisces, I'm sorry, for the person Pisces is thinking of, this person is wanting to create a brand new path when it comes to passion, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to home and lifestyle, when it comes to career and the future. This person is taking action or is being guided to by the end of November 2018. They have the major arcana, the star, to hope, wish, and pray to spirit for exactly what they'd like to see come manifest. They can take the action to come together with you and make a wish come true if they so choose. But again, they're researching this. This person is ready for a commitment. They want a happily ever after with the Ten of Cups in their emotional aspects position, something that is built on a passionate, beautiful be new beginning. Subconsciously, they have been reborn through a passionate connection with Pisces. And they have control over deciding if they want to plant a new seed and start over with a new passionate beginning, with the thoughts in their mind of a happily ever after. And they need to be clear to spirit about exactly what they want because they're still thinking of or dealing with day-to-day -day some form of ending in their life. They want a passionate new beginning with you, Pisces. Spirit is trying to tell them, help them to hold back with the Knight of Swords energies. When it comes to speaking their truth, they need to be clear with themselves first and then they need to be careful how they communicate their desires and their needs and their wants with Pisces because they could hurt someone. This person is kind of quick with their words. In a three card summary to my right, Spirit saying uh, from the 15th to the 20th of November 2018, there may be a light at the end of the tunnel for this person regarding finances. They are slowly but surely moving into your direction. They are enjoying their freedom, but when it comes to partnerships, they are unsure. They may still be thinking of someone who has maybe is an older air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and that connection is making them feel stuck. They're trying to have the strength to figure out where they're going to go next when it comes to a new path in career and finances or which person or situation is the best for them. Spirit's offering them a brand new path, but they're going to have to push beyond their fears and decide. Am I going to stay? Am I going to go? This particular 
person for Pisces is trying to free themselves from the memories of a financially abundant and secure feminine energy or someone who has earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It could have been someone that they were married to. There is a lot of pain and anguish, and this process is caused for this person to not be able to really give of their heart at this time. They see you as a beautiful and wonderful empress. Very spiritual, kind, and loving. And they want to take a risk. But they're also good where they're at right now. They've come a long way and they're taking their time to think about how they're going to create a more, a more fulfilling path ahead. So from the 20th to the 25th, they're starting to realize, okay, I've gone full circle. I can now move forward. I understand what I've had to learn spiritually about myself through all of my connections and I can step through the portal of this new world into a new direction. They may be taking a little bit longer to think about that because they're still dealing with an ending from the past. They are still healing. Here's the major arcana temperance who's helping for them to heal and to set new goals and intentions when it comes to a soulmate partnership for in their future. They're going to start opening their heart more. They're going to start hoping, wishing, and praying to come together with another. They see you as a very secure, content, happy, fulfilled individual Pisces. But they're afraid of where the situation could go. They don't know. I feel like they're. you guys haven't spent a lot of time one-on-one -on -one together. And so all there really is here is a passionate connection. There aren't like great memories of love. This person may still be wanting to manifest the passionate part and just manipulate that part because they're walking in their shadow side. They're not making the healthiest, best, highest decisions for themselves or anyone else. They may come off a little bit harsh. And with the Seven of Cups, they're definitely in fantasy land a little bit here. They want to come to you and open your heart. They see that your heart is open to them and they're trying to get to the truth of that Situation For some of you, it may be someone who has Virgo in their chart with the Hermit energies. They still need to get clear about their boundaries and their goals. They're trying to figure out how to go from partying and having fun and being with a lot of people or maybe more than one person to really deciding to come into a partnership with just one person. They're definitely focused on money, finances, career, new directions, they're listening to their intuition when it comes to you. But they need to go through a process of healing and ending something. They want to reach out to you, but there may be a Pisces who is in connection with an older fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo. And that's what's blocking this energy from coming your way. Pisces. So in the outcome position, Spirit's giving them the courage to sneak towards you so they can be around your warm, enticing, passionate, fun energies once again. They are completely amazed by you, Pisces, but they can't seem to make a clear decision. Again, because of sadness and regret tied to their past. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in their favor. But they've got to turn around and walk away from what was or they can't offer you all of their heart. There needs to be a discussion here. I feel like maybe this person will come to you and tell you that they're not real excited about a new path in love. But they're willing to have a good time. They're willing to hang out and have fun. But they're still at the end of a long and difficult path. And until they let go and move forward, they probably shouldn't be in another partnership anyway. I'm going to bring in some spiritual guidance here for this person. I just feel like this other person is so stuck. And yet they want a happily ever after. They want make new wishes come true 
they're just coming into an understanding about you Pisces that you are indeed a great and wonderful person maybe they didn't trust people before and now they're learning they're researching their finances and their future they're being offered from the 15th to the 25th the life renewed acorn to start a new path a new beginning for themselves but they are being warned in the relationship sector to pay attention to old cycles patterns or behaviors that are unhealthy because it'll affect the new path in exactly the same way that it affected the old whatever those patterns and cycles and behaviors were Spirit saying they have the ability to create a very passionate new beginning, a passionate new creative idea or career direction. And the High Priestess of Water is flying in to help them when it comes to their emotions. They are taking action by the end of November 2018 to pray to Spirit for exactly what they'd like to see come manifest in their life because they are receiving the individuality energies. They're focusing on their independence and what they can create with or without you, Pisces. They're hoping with you in their future. They want a happily ever after, but again, this person is feeling stuck in their current path. They're trying to act strong like this crow who's puffing out his chest, not realizing that the door on the back of the cage is always open. If they want a happily ever after, all they have to do is spread their wings and fly. Pray to spirit for things to turn out. Subconsciously, they've been reborn through their connection with you. A passionate, deep connection that only Pisces can offer. Now they're trying to decide, do I summon this person into my path? And how do I not repeat old patterns and cycles and behaviors of my past that caused this death in my life, this ending to take place? I'm going to know that I have the moon of hope shining on my path throughout the second half of November 2018. This person is being guided by spirit to find their truth, to speak their truth in a very kind way, to put away their sword of protect and defend, and to sit in the woods, in the grove, on their couch with their kitty cat and their blanket and be clear with themselves when it comes to what they're wishing for and you Pisces tell us a little bit more about what they're wishing for uh, they're being guided to the truth that they are safe in the place by which they currently reside with the ones that they love and the life they have manifested. They may want badly to go through this doorway from the 15th to the 20th, 20th, but the doorway is blocked in order to protect them. They need to take some time to be more honest with themselves about what love truly means to them and to build the strength and to use the energies of the strength card. To remember what's happened in the past. They're very, very focused on you, Pisces, but they're in denial of some sort of chaotic energy around them. Behaviors, patterns, and cycles. They may see you as very attractive and beautiful. They're observing you. They're praying about you. They're listening to spirit. They're hoping to actually communicate with you or you them. And from the 20th to the 25th, they're trying to make a decision about you with the choices angel who's flying in with a white wing and a black wing, asking them, are you going to make a good choice or a bad choice? Because whatever this person is meditating upon, they could very well find success. They need to take an oath to themselves. To understand what they're in denial of. It could be that they are just carrying the energies of deceit and they need to release them. Or by the end of November 2018, 
they're just going to walk into energies of complication. They need to set new visions for themselves, new positive, confident visions. And to know that a connection with other needs another needs to start out playfully. To be careful to not build a situation just on passion and lust. Because that is what will dissipate. And in the end, what playfulness will there be left? Wow. So Pisces, I'm going to pull a Mike, uh, Archangel Michael Oracle card for you by Doreen Virtue to close for you for representing this reading in the second half of November 2018, Pisces. Wow, just like Aquarius. And I'm going to see what else they have to say. Decide to be happy now, Pisces. Thank you for helping me to open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Spirit saying, Pisces, you created this situation and you have the power to change it. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength, Spirit, and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me, Pisces, to manifest and heal according to the divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. This situation is already resolved. You are to be working on your life purpose while this person figures out how to heal. If you'd like a personal reading, I am available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my price list is in the window below. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Take care and God bless.